Hello, I'm Samuel Perez, Ed Security Product Manager at Aruba. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make your zero trust strategy a little bit easier. Let's take as a starting point, we're a lean IT company, we have a hybrid workforce, and of course, in our network, we have people and we have things. As pretty much everyone, we're trying to adopt a zero trust strategy, and we're going to see here how we have our zero trust principles, right? We want to identify everything. We want to regulate access to everything because of what you are, what device you're carrying because of your context, not necessarily because you're plugged in this port or that port. And we need to verify constantly that you're doing the right thing and change your access whenever you're not. Good. So let's start with the with the beginning, accessing the the network, accessing the, the, the rest of the, the resources. First thing that's going to happen, my computers, my tablets, my IoT devices need to access the network. With Aruba Central, we have built-in onboarding capabilities. We have built-in profiling capabilities. We also have built-in ability to identify any type of Ethernet device and assign it a role based on that type of based on the type of device, not necessarily based on the MAC address, right? So this user is going to come into the network. I'm going to onboard it securely. Very simple workflow few clicks, it's all good. Okay, that's great. What about this camera? I don't have, this camera doesn't have a screen. I don't, I cannot easily build that workflow. Well, that camera, I'm going to use like either an MPSK if it's Wi-Fi. If it's wired, I'm going to rely on the profile identification of that device to give it a role, to give it a policy. So we have the user identified. We have the devices profiled. Next thing is, how are we going to control access to the application? In this case, this is pretty straightforward. We generally will integrate with an identity provider. So I think we can say that with cloud off, with SSO, we have identity covered. Next thing is, how are, they, how are we going to regulate the traffic? OK, so this user, because this user is, um, let's say, a security employee, this user has access to the camera, right? But uh, perhaps this iPad doesn't have access to the camera because it's not on the security group, right? We can do that through dynamic segmentation. You can learn more about dynamic segmentation in the video we did about IoT and SD branch. Uh, there's a lot more info you can get there. And of course, from our website. When we're going to our applications, when we're going to uh, SaaS, internet, we will rely on the communication. We will rely on, on the SSC integration. We have an SD branch in microbrand and SConnect SD WAN to, of course, govern what you can do in your SaaS applications, what you can do even in your private apps. So coming back here, we have dynamic segmentation is helping us when we are on site solve the access control. Of course, with SWIG, CASB, ZTNA, it's helping us anywhere. It's helping us both when we're on site as well as when we are remote. Last part is going to be very fine, validating that what we're doing is indeed what we should be doing and that we're not introducing any risk. When we're doing this access, we're not just simply allowing it. We're also taking a very close look at it, making sure there's no risk around that, that traffic, right? So IDS, IPS, and um, sandboxing and all those things are going to protect me when I'm on site. Of course, those same things are going to protect me when we're remote. So to wrap up, we have a simple way to implement zero trust, right? All we need on site is our gateways, our access points, our switches, and everything else is delivered as a service. CloudAuth is living inside Aruba Central. Um, our SSC is obviously cloud delivered. And the management of everything is, of course, delivered in the cloud. So this is it. If you want to learn more, please visit our website.